What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and when you go out and the first thing you do to promote your product is to attack the fans who you're supposed to be trying to entice to watch it, it's probably not going to go well for you. But that's what we see time after time in Hollywood. And yet again, another Netflix project is wrapped up in this. After the Kevin Smith controversy, when he went after He-Man fans, Masters of the Universe fans, when he lied to them over and over and over again. Now Netflix is back in hot water and it looks like they're doing some damage control. You can see the headline, Daniela Pineda attacks Cowboy Bebop fans. Now, I am obviously on the road. Uh, I'm in Indiana right now spending some time uh, in my original home with some family up here but I'm on my way to Florida I made a car video the other day about this very topic when Daniela Pineda came out with this ridiculous diatribe that was specifically meant to mock and disparage fans that's what it was where she was there was some blowback because she doesn't look anything like the character she's supposed to be playing. She went after people who said, oh, well, I don't have this type of body type. I'm really sorry in a very mocking and sarcastic way. And then she criticized people who said the outfit was nowhere near where it was supposed to be by saying something ridiculous like, yeah, you know, it really wouldn't be practical to have an outfit like that. That's not realistic. Essentially blaming horny fanboys, right? on all the backlash that was coming her way. Well, that has since been deleted, probably by the direction of Netflix, because they do not like the damage that she caused. And I want to go over some of this, because she has now been exposed. She has been exposed as an absolute disingenuous piece of shit once it was revealed what she's worn for other pieces of acting before. And it looks like if she could wear that for a movie back in 2016... Seems like it'd be perfectly fine to be wearing what Faye Valentine is supposed to be wearing. And uh, should we just give you a preview? I, I guess we could. This is Daniela Pineda from a movie back in 2016. Isn't that interesting? Um, it doesn't seem like she really had a problem with skin tight clothing or anything like that. That's strange. Here's Vera Dark. Shout out Vera Dark. Daniela Pineda attacked Cowboy Bebop fans expecting a half-decent outfit for live-action Faye Valentine. Talking about how an outfit close to her original one would have been, quote, paper thin and you couldn't move around in it. Yet she's literally worn outfits like this. Um, image is taken from a show called The Detour, which is pretty fitting considering she'll be taking a detour down a street named Irrelevancy after Cowboy Bebop. Um, and yeah, and listen, hey, nothing wrong with her wearing that. I fully support her wearing that. It's strange that she decided to go after fans the way that she did, who expected her outfit to look something close to the original. And this does not. This looks nothing like what the character is supposed to look like. And that was the main problem that people had with it. It was like she didn't even try. And you know that now all the fanboys and all these weirdos too, the, these fucking weird people who any take that myself or maybe anyone in my little, in this little part of YouTube has, they'll immediately take the other side without thinking of anything because they just have to be anti-us. Um, this is, this is worth criticizing, right? This is not a good outfit. And uh, there was some light criticism about it, but then what happened? Then this person goes and attacks the fans brutally and is like happy about it because they're such an elite hack fuck. That's what Daniela Pineda is. Goes after fans, basically blames it all on horny men, right? Just like the rest of the mainstream media was doing. No, it's okay to have fan backlash when com someone comes out and says that thing to the very people you're supposed to be trying to appeal to. Data Racer accurately points out. I wanted to go over this. Daniela Pineda insulted Cowboy Bebop fans three days ago. Here's the comments of her initial Instagram post from four days ago. They're all positive. SJWs would try to twist this and accuse male fans of harassing another female actress. And that is, of course, what's going to happen. She's going to be a victim in all this. And all these weirdo stands, again, all the people that are like anti-geeks and gamers or anti-myself or whatever, they're out there saying the exact same things as the mainstream media. It shouldn't really fucking surprise anybody. Nina, I wanted to talk about this because this is what it's all about the problem with netflix faye valentine costume is that it doesn't capture the essence of the character what distinguishes a great piece of cinema versus a bad one is how they use tools at their disposal including costume design and look at all these cosplayers right all these cosplayers who managed to do a more accurate and uh, true representation of faye valentine's outfit than what we ended up getting with daniela pineda 
That is why there was backlash, right? And when your response to the backlash was to shit on fans and deride them and go after them in every way you could, yeah, you're going to get some criticism for that. Deservedly so. And I also wanted to go uh, to that Star Wars girl because she did a re-edit of this. Because, of course, like I said, this is the type of thing that she's wearing in other TV shows or other movies that she's doing but says, we couldn't have done that for Cowboy Bebop. Well, funnily enough, uh, Anna actually did an edit of this turned it yellow, put a little band in her hair, colored her hair, did the boots different, did the leggings different, and uh, sure enough, wow, kind of looks like it's supposed to, doesn't it? Kind of looks like she could have pulled that off, like she was pretty comfortable doing that, but no, you got to play the victim, you got to blame fans, you got to do all these things. It's not working out well for her. Netflix obviously had her pull that post because of all the damage that it was doing, and now a lot of people who may have been interested in giving this a chance are not going to anymore because they are not interested in going and seeing a product where the people that are involved in it are talking down to them in this way. These people will never, ever learn, but we're never going to stop criticizing them and calling them out when it needs to happen. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.